Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to create this fun rose gold cut crease. And I used the stunning Sigma Enchanter palette to create this look. So Sigma kindly sent me this palette, so a massive thank you to them. However, this video is not sponsored by them. I just wanted to use the palette and create a YouTube tutorial with it. So if you want to pick up this palette, I do also have a discount code with Sigma Beauty. It is Alex10 and it will save you 10% off your order. However, it is an affiliate code, so I do earn a small commission just to let you know so if you want to help support me feel free to use that code I will leave it linked down below all right so if you guys want to know how to create this rose gold cut crease then just keep watching so here's a close-up of the palette it has 14 shades and it comes with this dual ended brush all right so I've just brought you guys in a bit closer and I've just prepped my eyes using the P Louise base in the shade rumor 2 and now we're going to get started. So I really want to do a rose gold cut crease just because there's some really pretty like mauve nude pink shades in here. And you know me, I love pink. First I'm going to dip into this shade here called Innocent. So first I'm just taking this shade through my crease and my outer edge of my eyelid. So I'm just taking my time to build that color up. And we're going to be creating a half cut crease today, so I'm just creating a half moon shape on my eye. Next I'm going to pick up this shade here called Loam. And I'm just taking this shade on my outer edge and through my crease again just to deepen that innocent shade. I just want to have some depth in the crease so that when we cut the crease and apply our shimmer shades there's a nice contrast between the shimmers and the mattes. Now I'm going to take this shade here called Claystone. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just using this color to deepen the crease and the outer edge. All of these shades are absolutely beautiful. I wish I had decided to film this video sooner because I can see this being an everyday palette for me. It's just so pretty. So I've just picked up some more of that innocent shade and I'm just re-blending that pinky tone back into the look. Next I'm going to pick up this shade here called Quartz. So I'm just taking that quartz shade on that E38 brush from the palette and I'm just using this to blend it all out into my skin. So this is just going to help really blend that eyeshadow in and make it nice and seamless. Okay, so you may notice we've lost some color intensity in the blending process. I'm going to go back in with each of those colors and re-intensify them. So I'm happy with that blend. Now we're going to carve out the lid and do our cut crease. So I'm just taking some my cellar water on a q-tip and just using that to carve out the basic shape of where my cut crease is going to go. So I've just carved out the basic shape that looks pretty good to me now I'm going to add some base product. So I'm just going to go in with my P Louise blank canvas paint and this is just going to carve the crease out a bit more precisely and give us a nice base to apply our shimmer shades to. So I'm just going to quickly go and do that off camera and then I will be back. Alright, so I'm back and I have done my cut crease. Now we're going to put some shimmer on the lid. So first I'm going to pick up this shade here called Plume. And I'm just taking that E54 brush that comes in the palette. And I'm just placing this right on the edge in between the concealer and the matte eyeshadow. Next I'm going to pick up this shade here called Budding. So I'm picking that shade up with the same brush and just applying it onto the part of the lid that hasn't got any eyeshadow on. I'm just going in with that brush and just bringing it nice and close to the cut crease line. And then I'm just going to pick up some more of Plume and just blend that into the budding shade. That looks perfect to me and I think the next thing that would complete this look would be some liner. I hate doing eyeliner so I'm just going to do some liner off camera and then I will be back. Okay, I've done some eyeliner. The eyeliner that I was using ran out in the middle so I had to get another one. So I'm going to leave the eyes here for now and I'm going to go off camera quickly and do my base makeup and then I'll be back to finish off the look. Okay, I am back and I have done my base. Now we're going to finish off the eyes. So in my lower lash line I'm just going to go in with Claystone. And then I'm going to go in with Loam underneath that. And finally just going to go in with that shade Innocent and blend everything together. So lastly I'm just going to apply some mascara and lashes. I'm going to take these sultry lashes from Sigma. I'm going to pop those on and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. Alright guys and here is the finished look. And here is the full face look. 
I haven't done eyeliner in so long, so I'm quite surprised it turned out all right. <laughs> so I really liked the Sigma Enchanted palette. I think it's so pretty and there's so many other color combinations you could do. So if you guys want to see me use this palette and use some different shades, leave a comment down below letting me know you want to see that. Okay, so I'm going to finish the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out by pushing my channel to new potential viewers. And if you're not yet already subscribed and you want to see more content from me, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. And if you want to see any of the looks that I don't create here, check out my Instagram at Makeup with Alex. All my social medias are linked down below. I've been creating some really cool content over on my Instagram and my TikTok, so definitely go give those a follow if you're not following me already. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!